Hello, my name is Dr. Seth Jenny, and I'll be today talking about some of the differences between primary and secondary research articles. So, what is a primary research article um, or a primary research source? Uh, typically, what you're going to be looking for is this is a report on one study that was conducted, you will typically see an introduction, a methods, a results, a discussion, and a conclusion. Uh, they'll talk about participants in that method section. They will also uh, discuss uh, the sampling methods. Um, and so for a primary research article, it is typically a report on one study, while a secondary research um, report or article is going to be uh, discussing multiple different primary research articles. So here um, is primary research methods and techniques and so there's two main types of primary research. We have um, quantitative and qualitative and you'll see some different examples of quantitative research studies. Survey research, uh, experimental designs, uh, observations and uh, simulations as well as on the qualitative side uh, where we're mostly dealing with words as compared and observations as compared to um, quantitative uh, numbers and data. Uh, examples of qualitative studies are focus groups, um, interviews, observations, and um, case studies. So other examples of secondary sources would be literature reviews. This is where uh, authors look at many different primary research articles and then they compile it into uh, one article that's focusing on a certain research question. Meta-analyses where um, an author takes multiple um, data that is uh, across several different studies and then does one large statistical analysis and then theoretical papers and I'll be showing you some examples of all of these. Uh, next textbooks that would be a secondary source. Um, they're good to include uh, when you're defining something um, and then news articles. Uh, typically sometimes if you google something and you find uh, where it talks about a new report or a new study found this um, it's a great way to find out about a new study but you really need to go to that original source and read the actual study from the journal, not just look at that author um, author's report of what the study found. You need to actually find and analyze that study yourself. So here's um, some more uh, definitions and descriptions of primary versus secondary research. So we have primary research. The authors have actually conducted the study. Um, they've observed the effects and you can see that it has methods, results, tables, figures into that um, article. And then secondary sources might be a literature review. It's summarizing other people's data that they did not collect themselves. Um, so some of those examples of a secondary um, source would be uh, reviews, meta-analyses, systematic reviews, things of that nature. So let's take a look at some example articles in those different categories. And here we have, uh, we're going to start with uh, sample primary research articles. So this, as you can see here, is listed as a primary quantitative study. Let's click on it here. It's in uh, the journal called Pediatrics. And you can see that they have a method section which discusses the sample that they um, used in this study. 14 um, boys, 9 girls. Uh, it has a results section and a conclusion. Not all secondary sources are going to have a results section. Some may have a method section, but it might just be talking about the way that they collected their uh, primary sources. And if we look down through here, they talk about the, they call them subjects here. You might see them referred to as participants. 
and the procedures is within the methods section how they conducted the study and the statistical analysis data analysis that was done and we can see the results so this is a primary research article Let's close that that would be a quantitative study uh, here's another example of a quantitative study um, and so this is a survey based quantitative study where they surveyed what are the fitness trends for the year 2018 and it has an introduction the survey discusses that what was in that survey and here's the demographics of the people who took the survey so this is uh, data they collected themselves and then it goes into uh, more demographics of um, the people who took the survey scrolling down here's some of the results so the high the most popular fitness trend for 2018 based upon this primary research was high intensity interval training uh, you can see um, number 11 exercise and weight loss uh, was 11th and to go through that data so that's an example of survey quantitative primary research article.